last week I made this LinkedIn post. The reason I made this post is what I've been seeing recently on my social media, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, is that everybody is starting to share knowledge. And this makes me think, what is it actually that we connect with being a successful entrepreneur. I feel like a lot of people are not becoming successful because they, one thing, don't understand what is it being successful. They don't understand how easy it is to actually look successful online. So the thing is that a lot of people, instead of actually focusing on becoming successful, which is of course a long ride, you have to work hard, all this stuff, they just kind of try to fake it. They probably want like a smaller business and then it's pretty easy to actually look successful. Usually what we treat as being successful, it's vacations, it's dinners, it's traveling, and it's like cars and watches really. And that, that, that's really what we depend, okay, this guy's successful or this guy's not successful. And I have a great example for you because we work with a lot of online courses. The typical ad that we run, which are always the best performing ad, it's usually just a picture of the guy running the course on vacation. Literally, it could be me sitting right outside there, looking down on the whole uh, marina view, and that's it. So the first thing is that your idea of success is pretty screwed up because becoming successful in that idea, it's pretty cheap. Literally, I was in Spain for a whole week with a villa, we were out doing dinner, all this stuff. It literally cost me a thousand dollars. So easy to look successful. And this is really the problem is that if you listen to the people that you think are successful and they are really keen to share their knowledge because they want you to listen to them, myself included, as I mentioned. The thing that happens is that you'll hear a lot of like non-knowledge, as I call it, which is really the technical term for white noise, which I don't want to go in depth with this video, but it's really all about understanding that everybody wants to give you their specific knowledge. If they're running a business doing 2K, 10K, 50K, all the way up, they all look successful. And what you have to consider is that would I rather spend my time, my money and my energy focusing on external things like looking successful or would I much rather spend my time and energy and resources of actually becoming successful and then starting to look successful. Looking successful is easy but actually being successful is not and the reason that you're probably not successful right now is because you're way too focused on looking like something you are not instead of focusing on becoming what you actually want to become. You want to become successful, you want to be the guy sitting out in Dubai on a cafe ordering whatever you want while you have your Rolex on, all this fucking stuff. But you'll never get to the point because you're too keen and focused on oh I have to look successful, I have to look good, and then I'll fulfill my own needs, I'll get dopamine, people take no, oh, you're doing such a great job. But on the back end, you're literally doing 3K a month. And the reason I can say this is because I've been in that exact situation. Not more than one and a half years ago, I was not successful at all. But at least to the outer world that didn't really understand the back end of my company, I look successful. You get this twisted idea of a guy you think, oh, he's successful because he's doing business online. Most of the people I know doing business online are not successful. So you should stop looking too much at what other people are trying to frame as successful and actually start thinking, okay, what would my life be like? if I were successful. Because if you're already traveling, you're already doing all this stuff, you're literally just faking your life through and, and at some point that will catch up to you. One day you'll sit down and be like, okay, I've been living as a successful entrepreneur for a full year, but I'm fucking broke. And that's exactly what I experienced like maybe a year ago. I've been running my business for two years and I was like, this is a cash flow business. I'm not making that much money actually. And to be honest with you, this is something I really realized only when I moved to Dubai is that if your idea of becoming successful is traveling, watches, cars, I can tell you, it's really easy to achieve that. But to do stuff that requires you are making 100K, 250K a month, that is a whole nother level. So you'll have to focus on the people that are at that level and not at the people on, maybe not even on my level, but definitely not the people doing 5K a month. Not there's anything bad in doing 5K for months. I've been there myself and that's why I'm saying this. It's because you'll end up with a twisted idea of success and you'll kind of move in the wrong direction because you always have to be careful of who you listen to. And if you keep on listening to the guy or girl or whatever doing 5K a month, you'll probably get to a point where you can get to 5k a month. But the thing is, you don't want to get to 5k a month. You want to get to 25k. I promise you, making 25k a month, six months in a row, you'll be thinking, fuck me, I would love to do 50k now. And if you're not progressing, then you'll feel horrible about yourself and you'll literally feel worse doing 25k a month if you've done it for six months straight than you would doing 15k after doing 5k straight for six months. That's the way your mind works. It's about the progress. So if you're not moving forward and actually doing better, you can only do that by leveling up the people you decide to actually get knowledge from. 
if you're making anywhere between 15 25k you probably wouldn't listen to me i would listen to the next guy in the row if you're doing 0 to 10k i would probably listen to me because i'm definitely beyond that point right now choose one guy make sure he's successful in the space you want to become successful in and just do everything he says like literally do every single thing he says and don't go out and say oh but iman did this and john platten did this other thing and all this stuff just choose one guy go with whatever he's saying keep pushing until you reach at least like 50% of the level that he's at and then you maybe have to upgrade who you're actually looking towards. So to sum this video up, becoming successful in life, in business, in whatever you want to become successful in, it's really all about who you listen to and that you do not listen to 20 different people. You'll just confuse yourself and you'll be looking, oh this guy doing this, this guy doing that and you'll end up doing nothing. And that's the video for today and actually on Thursday I'm doing my first vlog so uh, yeah look forward to that and otherwise have an amazing day. Bye guys.